Alex Fadil is the president hopeful for your USG, which is the student government on campus. He is running with Rohan Mera. He will be going for the vice president there. And Alex has a lot of outstanding plans for this university and talks about them in this interview that we're going to play. Voting, ladies and gentlemen, actually begins the 15th of February, if you're interested. It is Alex and his team with Rohan and then two other teams as well. So there are three uh, individuals going for the top spot in the student government. Alex is one of them, and here's what he has to say. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Conrad Wilton. I'm alongside perhaps the president hopeful here named Alex Fadil. And you are running for USG, which is the uh, student government here, the top position. So, Alex, congratulations on so far getting uh, to this point. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. So, first question, Alex. Uh, what does the, I mean, I know a lot of folks are very uh, proponents of the government and everything, but a lot of people don't know what the president actually does. What does the president do? Well, that's actually one of the main reasons I'm applying to do the job here. Um, US, the USG student body president uh, is first and foremost the, the person who advocates for the student voice. That's the f first responsibility of a student body president. Um, in addition to that, he presides over the entire student government. So, um, you know, the judicial executive program board, um, all of those branches, legislative branch. Um, and he just manages USG and um, makes sure everything runs smoothly. And um, he has his directors and senators and all of them um, to help out with the process. But, uh, you know, he, he just manages he's the person. He's the face of USG and the face of, uh, the, face of the students. So, Alex, you are a junior and you're running with Rohan Mera? Yeah, Rohan Mera. He's another junior. He's an uh, engineering student, actually. And he's going for vice president. Uh -huh. This is the first time you guys are going for the positions? Uh, for USG, yes. yes. But okay. we, have, uh, we have worked together in the past, um, and uh, you know, he's a very qualified candidate as well. What's your previous government experience? Um, well, uh, my campus involvement throughout the past three years, um, just briefly, I, uh, I was the president of my fraternity last year. Um, fraternity, which is? Uh, Pi Kappa Phi. Very nice. And I also currently serve as the executive vice president of judicial affairs for the Interfraternity Council. I'm also the lead intern for the USC Office of Admission. Um, I've worked as a program coordinator for the Center of Active Learning and International Studies and I've facilitated the Teaching International Relations program. Um, I'm a mentor I'm in, a mentor in the mentor program here and I'm also in USC Reverse Osmosis Acapella. You seem like you had that one down flat, didn't you? <laughs> How many times have you said <laughs> yeah, that? I've said that a lot today. <laughs> I can imagine, I can imagine. So out of all those experiences, maybe from high school or from whenever and whatever, what prepares you for this position? You know, I think just the leadership experience in the past is, is something that I have to my benefit in this in this race. Um, interacting with people and operations management and and knowing how to deal with certain situations are, are some things that can't you know that need to be learned by experience. And if it's experience, if if anything, it's experience that I have. Um, so I, I've led a lot of organizations and worked really closely with a lot of um, leaders throughout the community. For, not just in high school, but in USC extensively, and um, I really feel that I'd be a really good, a really good president here. So. Exactly, exactly. Well, it sounds like you're very loquacious, and at least you know what your uh, <laughs> what your accomplishments are in the past. You. Now, you've been working with the government, I'm sure, for quite some time now since you were a freshman. The USG. USG. I, well, I've been I've I've been knowledgeable of various programs that they've done, and um, kept kept an ear and an eye out for all of those um, events that they've thrown and participated in in various programs. Um, however, I'm not for had a, a position with, with USG. Now, what has USG done correct that you would continue if you're the president, like certain policies, and what do you believe needs to change? Well, I think that the organization of USG is, is, is very effective in the way that it runs. I think that the, the, the positions and the jobs that um, you know USG maintains is, is very effective. Um, what I would like to change about USG, though, is the access to students. Um, I feel like a lot of students, at least from my conversations with them, don't really know what USG does. Like the first question in this interview, exactly. what does the president do? The vice president, secretary, no one is like, USG, well, that's cute. Exactly. We don't know what you actually do up there, yeah. but, but you want to go ahead. Ideally, we'd want 
we want to encompass the entire campus community and use USG as, as a means to do that. So, I mean, what, you can ask, what does that mean? Um, one way that we plan on doing this is by holding monthly town hall meetings, open forum meetings, discussions with administration, staff, faculty, and students so that the student's voice can be heard. You know, a hot topic issue right now is the bike ban. You know, right. this big bike ban. It's first and foremost a safety issue. We've met with senior administration about this issue. First and foremost, the administration and the community are worried about safety on campus. But, you know, a lot of the avenues that which in which students have um, been able to advocate their opinions, um, there haven't been that many that much opportunity for that, and that's something that we would want to bring to the to the whole process and encourage student interaction with uh, within USG to advocate for them um, and to open that dialogue on a roundtable discussion with the administration so that we can see some substantial changes. I mean, what would you do about the bike ban? You'd try to strike a compromise in the middle? Well, or... I mean. So to be honest, I, I want suggestions on what to do. It's not, I mean, it's not up to one person to decide. And I think that having as many people involved as possible and giving some some options and determining with the administration and the students uh, to come up with a compromise, like you said, and to see, you know, what would keep students safe while still allowing them to, you know, bike freely in and around campus. And what else is on your agenda policy-wise? Sure. Um, well, the first and foremost thing, as I mentioned before, is the USG transparency, and that's something that I right. think Rohan and I can contribute um, effectively to to the whole system. Um, coming from an outside perspective and seeing and representing the entire student voice, you know, we've been involved in so many different activities that we feel like we can finally contribute um, and understand a collective um, dimension of the student voice. Um, secondly, Rohan is actually enrolled in a fifth year uh, master's degree program in green technology and. Um, a major proponent of green technology and going green on campus. So sustainability is a huge portion of our platform. And that's um, been a big issue of late. Exactly. USC trying to be more green. Exactly. And, you know, it's done so far. It's taking steps in the right direction. We have a USC Dean of Sustainability. We have an office um, green certification program, um, which is great. But small things here and there can really make a big difference. And I feel like um, the understanding of the campus community and the students in particular can, can be a better educated on what they can do. Um, and I think USG can serve as that resource. So for instance, whether it's you know reducing the amount of to-go item wear that we, the to-go to -go boxes basically, that we have in Cafe 84 or Seeds Marketplace or the, or the Campus Center or anything of that nature. What about having plates that we could reuse and wash, silverware that we could reuse and wash and save on those cardboard save on the excessive amounts of cardboard and waste that we use every day. Right. Um, or it could be as easy as, you know, maybe offering a, a little, a $10 rebate discount for um, hybrid cards that park in the student uh, structure lots. It's a little things like that that can really be very make popular if you were able to get yeah, that one through. We're trying to do realistic small changes that can benefit the community at large in a big way. So I'm not going to promise that, you know, I'll have solar panels on every building <laughs> by the end of the year. You know, <laughs> those things are expensive and they take a while. Um, but, you know, USG currently is working on having a green fund accessible um, to for the university's use. And what that would entail is maybe taking $3 out of the campus fee that everyone pays for tuition and putting it towards a green fund so that five, ten years down the line, we'd have enough money to start instilling um, more green technology on campus. So, I mean, what would that mean? Having um, toilets that use less water. Um, more, more efficient that way, or um, certifying, you know, the certification of the campus center is now LEED, it's, a, it's LEED certified. So getting more buildings on campus LEED certified, more eco-friendly practices, increasing the recycling techniques that we use on campus. Um, th little things like that, um, that, can, that can go a long way. All right, Alex, so last question, if you haven't answered this question already, which I'm pretty sure you have, but I'll just give you this last statement. Why should USC students go out and vote for you and Rowan? Well, you know, I'm really, we're really passionate about the job. We're first and foremost here to represent the students, and that's what we really want to come across to students. We've been so actively involved in the campus community and feel that we really understand the student voice, as diverse and multifaceted as it is. Um, we're coming from all different kinds of angles. We've been involved in, you know, national honor societies. We've even been involved in philanthropic endeavors, the Greek community, you know, the whole acapella thing, mentorship right. programs. You can sing your way to the top if you wanted to. <laughs> exactly. Um, we just feel like we've, we've been very involved and we want to represent uh, the university to the best of our ability and, you know, establish um, and continue the longstanding tradition of excellence that USC has pursued in the past. Um, feel we're qualified in leadership capabilities and, you know, are amicable and approachable and responsible and really want what's best for the university and we feel like we're the best candidates for the job. Well, best of luck, Alex. Thank you so much. 
So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. If you are interested in choosing your future here at USC, I highly recommend voting for the next president of the student government. As Alex said, there are some very important jobs that the president ascertains when he takes office. And whether you'd like to vote for Alexander Fidel or Rohan Mera, uh, or some of the other candidates up on the USG website, that is up to you.